there we go to get this Friday started. Zach, I am so excited you are back with us. Taste and See always giving us places to check out, whether it's restaurants, events. I mean, you do a little bit of it all for us. That's right. Doing a little bit of everything for Taste and See Tampa Bay and Tampa Bay's Morning Blend. This Friday, we're headed off to Riveter's Restaurant right there on Northdale Mabry. It has a nice Rosie the Riveter theme with an homage to World War II. <laughs> Most interesting things about this restaurant is just kind of bringing it back to the World War II era, where Rosie the Riveter was a, a big staple in uh, everything we did to try to get women back to work. Obviously, all our servers are Rosies. You know, when you cut them around here and look at it, it was it's it's we try to set it up more like a museum. A lot of the original posters from World War II and a lot of the original pictures from Rosie the Riveter is from World War II. It's what's actually on the walls. We have um, a couple of original wings. Uh, from World War II, one's from a 1950 T-28. We have a 1946 BT-13, dummy bombs and original radios and the uh, cell phone. Today we have uh, mahi-mahi, so we're going to cook a fresh mahi. We're going to do a hot dog. Our hot dogs are killer. Same thing as burgers. So we're going to cook a black and blue burger. We're going to do the Catalina chicken. It's a great chicken dish as well. That way you can see a little bit of everything, see uh, some of the handhelds, some of the normal entrees. So we make an Air Ray lemonade, and they are awesome, very tasty, nice and strong. Uh, you can do strawberry, blackberry, pomegranates. We do have a lot of bourbons and whiskeys, great margaritas. But yeah, just make it a really fun environment where you can come in, be very casual, have a great time, live bands, huge outdoor area, big parking in the back, and that's pretty much it. Zach, I feel like I have passed that so many times, and I had no idea, one, it had that outdoor space, and two, how cool it is on the inside. I wondered if the oh, Riveter yeah. in the name meant Rosie the Riveter. I'm so glad you explained that. Right, and, you know, I really enjoy just the World War II, uh, you know, collection they have on the walls, the posters, the artifacts. I don't know. It's, it's just really nice kind of being able to eat, and what some would say, like, it's like a nice little museum almost, you know? I like it. And you know what? I like a good bandana. If you see yes. me like in a ponytail, I, I always try to do the bandana. And sure enough, like someone in my family is like, what are you trying to be? Rosie the Riveter? There I will fit in if I go to exactly. that restaurant. Exactly. You played the role well. <laughs> hey, Zach, you know, lately we have been talking about the big boat show that's happening in the Bay Area. And I know that's one, too, that caught your attention. That's right. That's right. And why not start off the weekend with a nice boat show, the St. Petersburg Power and Sailboat Show right there at the Arts Manhattan Theater Yacht Basin in Albert Witted Park, right there in downtown St. Petersburg. Uh, tickets cost around 19 bucks, but really it's just a good way to see all these different boats. And you know, the Florida lifestyle is all on the water. So why not swing by downtown St. Pete and check it out? You're so right. Hey, you know what else is happening? Uh, lots of people excited. Gasparilla is back before the weekend of Gasparilla, of course, sharing the love with the kiddos. That's right. The children's Gasparilla parade is already here. And you know what? Some would even consider it's the largest children's event in the country. OK, so it is a huge parade, pretty much an all day event right there in South Tampa and into downtown Tampa, right around Bayshore. Just a fun time for all the kiddos to get beads and, you know, see all the pirates and get more of a PG version of the Gasparilla invasion. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Zach, I've actually been in this parade before. Little, little fun fact is a matter of fact. And I loved it. The kids get so excited to be able to get beads. I mean, it really is so much fun for everybody, okay. whether you're a kid or not. I'll throw that out there. I mean, I, I say I've seen grown adults fight over beads. <laughs> I can only imagine what kids are doing. So. And then you remember, they're like really not even 99 cents. But yet yeah. during Gasparilla, we love them. Uh, it's currency. It really is, you know. There you go. Hey, uh, Zach, moving along, something I've actually never heard of, and I'm kind of upset I haven't because I love speed. Do you have the need right. for speed? That's right. The need for speed. And, you know, why not head back down to downtown St. Pete, you know, on Sunday at Benoit Park. There is the 17th Annual Festivals of Speed at St. Petersburg. And this is going to feature all types of kind of old vintage cars and race cars and 
literally all these different exotic and classic muscle cars, motorcycles, luxury brands, you name it. And it's all going to be right there at Benoit Park downtown. And it's a $20 general admission. And, uh, you know, why not, you know, swing by the festival and then also uh, go check out the St. Pete Pier or something like that. Oh, good idea. Hey, by the way, uh, we can't not talk about it. Little game, little game happening. Are we finally going to take the Rams this time? I, I don't we know how are. I feel about playing we last are. Last wondering. but certainly not least, the Buccaneers are going to win on Sunday. And there's the GOAT right there, continuing <laughs> to make dreams happen for the young, young kiddos, of course. Uh, the game takes off at 3 p.m. on uh, Sunday, Raymond James Stadium. Uh, tickets I saw are around 300 bucks. So, uh, you know, it's going to be a pricey game, but certainly one to go see. And if, if not, of course, it'll be on TV. So certainly got to go check it out and root on our bucks. And I'll tell you, we caught up with Jesse Palmer earlier this week and got his take. He thinks we'll definitely make it to the big game. Of course, you know, for some reason, when, when it needs to win, Tom rallies the troops. And I'm, I think we're going to see it again on Sunday. So hey, go Buccaneers. We're due for a good one. That's for sure.